Hi everyone. Um, we're going to be enameling this flat pendant. One of the things I want to mention is that enamel will partially fill the hole. So you need to make the hole in your piece slightly larger than you would normally think. Um, so this one is, you know, an ample size. We're going to decorate this with uh, the 620 enamel and with some um, millefiori again and some cat whiskers. That's what these little fellows are right here. But we're going to place these onto the pendant. Now when you um, fire this, you want to establish which is the front and which is the back because the back side of the pendant has the tendency to get dark. And I really believe it's because it kind of forms a blockade to the mixing of air in with the fuel. And uh, so this is going to be the this is going to be the back side of the pendant. So when you're firing, you're going to want to have the flame hitting the back side of the pendant. And um, then you're going to be all set. You're going to have a nice front side and a dark back side. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, let's get started. I can hit the front side of this right now because there's no enamel on it to darken. Now select a mandrel that's as close to the hole size as you can get. It'll make your life a lot easier. You can heat up the piece entirely from the back side. Never, you know, never hitting the front of it. Slightly moving this from side to side to make sure the entire thing gets hot. This is why butane torches don't work. They're just not bushy enough and they don't have enough power. Uh, for the pendant, we're going to put on at least four layers of enamel. Okay, now we're going to start the decorating in a second. I'm direct. There you go. I'm directing the. Uh, I was directing the flame at the connection point between the mandrel and the um, copper pendant because I wanted it to drop down. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it up. And, and you can see the back side is somewhat dark and the, the front side's okay. You know, the color of the enamel. What I want to do is I want to get this a little bit hot so that the things I place on here are not going to roll off. I want it to be somewhat tacky. So we're heating from underneath. Six 
coming in a transparent. Uh, this is copper. it'll just <laughs> fall off your tweezers. Come on. Okay, just a little cooperate. Oh. Don't drink a lot of coffee when you start to do this. Final piece. Pretty simple. Just a few, you know, no special tools really. Once you get the torch firing kit, you only need a couple of pair of pliers, tweezers, and maybe a hammer every once in a while. So thanks a lot for being with me today. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.